Hypnosis is often more effective at pain relief than pain relieving drugs, such as codeine and morphine. The real advantage is that it is much safer because hypnosis does not cause side effects which impair your ability to make judgments or operate machinery and is non-addictive. The Melzack and Wall gate control theory of pain, first proposed in 1965, may help to explain why hypnosis helps to reduce pain. The theory, put forward after the recognition of the lack of a clear relationship between painful stimuli and the subjective experience of pain, proposes that input from the pain receptors passes through a gating mechanism in the spinal cord. The gate opens or closes depending on the distribution of activity in the ascending and descending nerve fibers. The brain can respond to pain by releasing chemicals called endorphins, which reduce or inhibit pain sensations. Thus, the gate may be influenced by both a peripheral response to a painful stimulus and higher brain activity, such as cognition and emotion. The perceived intensity of the pain can be altered by the mental state opening the way for psychological intervention. Hypnosis may work by encouraging the release of endorphins, the body's own painkillers, but the exact mechanism involved has not been established. When someone with chronic long-term pain feels depressed, their re relay station gates open more than usual, allowing more pain messages through. Because hypnosis can sometimes completely remove pain or distract people from feeling it, it is important that a doctor access this underlying medical or psychological condition prior to hypnosis. Getting rid of the pain when there is an important physical cause may prevent the condition from being properly treated. Call the hypnosis center and find out your options and whether this is practical for you or discuss with your medical practitioner, give us a call at the New York Hypnosis Center, 212-964-4450.